Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is the IS-6. It's a Tier 8 Soviet Premium Heavy Tank. It's located on the Westbourne of Sand River and it's under the command of Citroen 01. And he's trying to get to his third mark. He's already got two up there and he's keeping his damage average quite high. Well, the IS-6 is a premium heavy tank that you don't actually uh, hear much about because it's not as good as the Defender. But it's actually related to it because they are both Object 252s. In fact, the IS-6 was both the Object 252 and the Object 253 as well, same time. It's basically a 122mm gun on a revised hull, as you can see it's hasn't got the pike nose, it's got a flat nose across the front, but it does have fairly good armour. And it was basically going to be a successor to the IS-3 and the other series of tanks, including the IS-2, um, for the Soviets. Now, one of the reasons why it's not so good is it doesn't have very good penetration on its 122mm gun. It does have good DPM, 390 Alpha, but the penetration, a bit lacklustre. It's only 196, if I remember correctly. Um, yep, there we go, 196. And even with the premium rounds, you only get 225, which is well below what you'd normally expect from a 122mm gun. But what it does have is preferential matchmaking, which means this tank will never see tier 10. It'll only ever see tier nine. That's the most you're gonna see which means it does have a chance against tier 9 tanks and of course tier 8s and of course tier 7s. Now you may notice it's got that kind of flat turret that you see with the uh, Defender. And that's because as I said they are related. The Defender is the Object 252U which is U stands for improved and uh, so basically they are a similar tank the hull's slightly different but it's very very similar well you can see citroen 01 just took a big clobbering from a waffentrager he can't see at the moment and there are a number of enemy tanks facing him and blocking him from going further down in fact there's one behind him as well but i don't think that medium's going to be much of a problem at the moment because he's probably in reload Okay, this 122 TM is being a bit of a problem. There's the uh, Charky Chew 4. He blasted away his uh, four shells, and then obviously uh, he's been sitting lying low even while Citroen 01 went behind him. Now, you may have um, remember in a previous video where Citroen 01 got his third mark. I said he, he marks these vehicles almost like skill for LTU and uh, I, I didn't realize actually the similarity between Citroen 01 and skill actually comes from the fact that Citroen 01 is one of the moderators for skill for LTU's channel so he does work with skill quite a lot and that's why they've got similar skills because obviously he's picked up a lot from skill over time and of course he's got this hankering to mark his tanks and he got his first good shot into the 122 did get one into the char future four but that's the first one into the char into the 122 rather So yes, that's how he's picked up his skill and that's why he keeps marking tanks one after the other because of course skill has already done that. Now the um, the only difference as I said other than the black turret is that um, when they actually made the Defender, Wargaming actually gave it the pike nose which is true because the real Defender, the 252U did have a pike nose rather than the flat nose but the Defender got much better stats than the IS-6 and consequently it was uh, a much better tank overall as a premium and that's why the sales of the Defender are much higher than that for the uh, oh got that Waffentrager but he takes another big hit and he got Amorakt 
Yeah, so they sell far more Defenders than they sell IS-6, and most people don't buy the IS-6 simply because of that poor performance. Come on, get that guy. Nice! Well, that pays him back for the over a thousand hit points of, of uh, health that he's actually lost to that guy. As you can see, it still bounces tanks from the enemy. Uh, bounces rounds, rather. He's got 115 millimeters of armor on the front of the turret, 110 on the hull at the front. So he can still block shells from enemy tanks just by judiciously maneuvering his vehicle and using cover. As I say, it's got good DPM because the reload time is fairly good. By the book, it's 11.22. As you can see here, he's got it down a little, um, well actually at the moment he's Amorak, so he's got an 18.44 reload at the moment. And he's actually in the patrol duty, he's the only one spotting six enemy tanks whilst they were damaged. But uh, yes, his reload is normally a bit better than that, and he's waiting for his first state, uh, first state, his repair kit to come back up so he can repair his Amorak. Because his DPM is shot to hell at the moment, but I suspect it's actually half the uh, reload time that he's probably got at the moment. Um, so I reckon he's probably got a nine second reload. There you go, he can fix it now, and he has. And yes, he has got a nine second, 9.22 second reload. Pumps around into the box, the CS-52 lists. Oh, and he just gets blasted into uh, non-existence by an IS-32. Okay, there's only one enemy vehicle left. He's managed to do 3,000 hit points of damage, 2,000 assists, and the last enemy vehicle's been killed. So has he earned his third mark? Here's the end of battle stats, and yes, Citroen 01 got his third mark for a very difficult tank. In fact, it was the IS-6B, not the IS-6, which of course was the... Uh, version of the tank that uh, Wargaming brought out so they could sell it to you twice just by making it black. Uh, very, very, very silly move. But anyway, that's Wargaming for you. They will try to sell you a same tank if they can uh, more than once as they did for the Scorpion, the T-34 and a few others. Anyway, he got a first-class tanker out of that game, a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage. In fact, he spotted a lot more than that because he was acting as front man for his team. He got a shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle, a duelist for taking down more than uh, two tanks that, uh, or at least two tanks who damaged him in the game, and as well as a fire for effect. Didn't get any other medals in the game. He didn't get that patrol duty, even though it flashed up that he had earned it. But uh, the third mark, I think, is compensation enough for this game, certainly. So let's have a look at the team score. Well, there you go. He's not at the top of the table. The uh, Bat Chat Brask actually managed to get uh, 4,041 hit points of damage. The second highest score was on the enemy team. The AMX 5120 got 3,437. And the third highest damage was Citroen 01 with 2,952 in total. When it came to kills, it was the Brask again. He got four kills. The Object 705, that he managed to get uh, two kills. The IS-32 also managed to get two kills, and so did Citroen 01. Uh, so he's in joint second place. And when it came to base XP, it's the Barask again with 1,359. But you can see that Citroen 01 was second with 1,300. And that's because he did a lot of spotting in that game, and that will have earned him a lot of XP as well. He fired only 11 rounds in the game, and I think that was... Partially because his Amorak got, uh, uh, took away his fire rate uh, uh, at a particular point in the game, which meant that he wasn't pumping out as many shells as this uh, tank normally can. And uh, yes, that kind of dropped his, uh, the number of shells that he managed to get off and the amount of damage he claimed. But he did get 10 direct hits on the enemy and 9 penetrations, so very good accuracy and good pen as well. Damage of 2,952 hit points, of which 1,046 were at more than 300 meters. Received nine hits from the enemy, and there was two penetrations, and both of those were from the Waffentrager, and each time he got hit, he got lost nearly 600 hit points, nearly 600, off each uh, shot from that Waffentrager. So, in fact, actually, those were low rolls, so he was, uh, I think, over low rolls, so it may have been that he had the 128 millimeter gun, in which case they would have been high rolls, but, of course, it uh, was pretty devastating to lose that many hit points 
uh, from each shot. Uh, he also got seven non-penetrations. You can see that it was bouncing 122mm rounds. The armor is fairly good. It's not brilliant, but it is fairly good for this tank. And so, yes, it can block shots if it needs. 1,990 hit points of damage blocked by armor. Four enemy vehicles spotted, seven enemy vehicles damaged, two killed. And there's the important figure that actually made his XP so much higher. 2,778 hit points of spotting assist. So yes, he was really helping his team by spotting the enemy and allowing them to sit behind him and blast away. He earned 81,329 credits from the game, 48,798 credits from personal missions payout. Um, I think that may have been on the holiday ops, or is that over already? I don't know. Uh, he earned a total of 89,808 credits after repair and ammunition resupply and consumables. And he earned 1,300 XP plus 195 for this being a premium. Took away 2,145. But he has got his third mark now on that vehicle. Won't need to uh, mark that one again. Uh, because once you've got the third mark, it stays with the vehicle for the rest of time. So, um, yes, the IS-6. It's, um, how should we say, it's a bit of a lackluster tank. If you've got a defender, you, you'll probably feel a bit let down once you play the IS-6. But remember, they're both Object 252s. So, uh, yes, it, it's kind of, if you can play the defender, you can probably play this one. But you might find yourself a bit disappointed because it's not quite as good as a defender. But, uh, okay, you can handle it. I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And we've got more replays coming from Citroen01 and some of the other top players who've been sending in replays recently because they've all been uh, three marking uh, various tanks. And you get to see exactly how they did that when you uh, watch their replays. Thanks for watching.